All right, this is Grade 2, Module 2, Lesson 10, the final lesson from this module. And uh, we're going to be doing two-step word problems, and we're going to be drawing those tape diagrams in this lesson where you're going to label, like, you know, Bobby and Mary, and you're going to draw tape diagrams representing each of these people. And, and I'm going to show you, and this lesson is all about practicing learning how to draw those tape diagrams. All right, in this problem, now this happens to be, un, unlike most of my videos, this happens to be from the teacher notes. This is not from the homework assignment. Uh, teachers, I kind of felt like you were going to need help yourself with learning how to draw these tape diagrams because it is so unfamiliar uh, from the way we were taught. Uh, but the tape diagrams are invaluable, and they are totally worth the effort that you are going to put put uh, put up in, to learn this, and they're really going to be useful for your your students. So let's get going on this. So problem number one: Mr. Peterson decorated 15 meters of ribbon in the morning, right here, and then he decorated eight more meters in the afternoon. Then in the morning. I got to tell you, the first time I read this question, I missed the then in the morning. And then it says, how many meters did Mr. Peterson decorate in the morning and afternoon in all? So essentially find the total. So in the tape diagram modeling system, what we're going to do is we're going to label the, the condition. Sometimes it's boy, girl. Sometimes it's Mary and Bobby. In this case, it's going to be morning and afternoon, all right? Uh, because it says morning right here and then afternoon right here. When you're drawing a tape diagram, you always, oh, I don't know if I should say always, but you almost always begin with both tape diagrams, both bars, Sometimes we call this the bar, bar modeling system, the bar diagram. Uh, you try and draw them both identical. So these two bars are supposed to be identical. And then what you do is you go back and you read the question and you edit the bars to match the story. But you start with the two bars being identical. And if we can label it, let's label it. So it says, Mr. Peterson decorated 15 meters of ribbon in the morning. So that means we can label the morning is 15. And then it says, he decorated 8 more meters in the afternoon than in the morning. So what that means is his afternoon, that tape diagram, has to be bigger by 8. So that's what I'm going to draw right there. Now the last important thing is how many meters did Mr. Peterson decorate in the morning and afternoon? So essentially they're asking us how much did he do in all? So that's the classic tape diagram right here. And now we're going to leave it up to the students to figure out how to um, solve this problem. So in this case we know that since this bar right here is 15 and we started with identical bars, identical tape diagrams. So that means that one down here is also 15. And we're supposed to find the total, so our strategy is going to be add 15 plus 15 and then add in the 8. And that's our strategy. So let's do that. So let's see, 15 plus 15 gives us 30. And now I'm going to take 30 and I'm going to add 8, and that's easy. We could do that in our head. So our, our answer is 38 meters in total. All right, so this whole thing right here represents. And again, this problem is also from the teacher notes. It's not from the homework or from the problem set. I just thought teachers would want a little extra help. Uh, so problem two, the red colored pencil is 17 centimeters long. The green colored pencil is uh, 9 centimeters shorter than the red colored pencil. What is the total length of, the, of both pencils? So again, what, we've, what we see is the characters in this story. We've got the red pencil and we've got the green pencil. So we're going to label that red and green. 
or I could have done R and G. And just like traditional, kind of the basic plan is we're going to start by drawing both tape diagrams being identical length. And then we're going to go back and read the question again and then edit our bars to accommodate the problem. So let's go back and it says the red colored pencil is 17 centimeters long. So that means we can label this as 17 centimeters. And then it says the green colored pencil is 9 centimeters shorter than the red colored pencil. So that means the green, it's not 17 because we have to cut off 9 centimeters. And I'm just going to estimate what 9 might look like and there is our 9 centimeters. And so what is the total length of both pencils? So we want to know this total length right here. But in order to answer that question, we need to know this length right here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to add this length, which is 17, and we need this length right here, which we don't know what that is. All right, so let's do that. Well, how are we going to figure out the length of the green pencil? Well, it's subtraction. We're going to do 17 minus 9, and that gives us 8. So we know that our green pencil is 8 centimeters long. So right here, so we can cross that off and make it an 8. It's 8 centimeters long. So what is the total length? Well, we have the red one up here is 17, and we have the green one here, which is 8. So we're going to add 17 plus 8. That's 15, carry the 1. So that's 25. So our total length is 25 centimeters. All right, our last problem of this video uh, does come from the homework section. Uh, we've got Joanna and Lisa. They drew lines, and Joanna's line is 41 centimeters long, and Lisa's line is 19 centimeters longer than Joanna's. How long are Joanna's and Lisa's lines? Meaning they, they want the, to know the combined length. So uh, we're going to draw it down here, down in this section right here, because it's a little I have a little extra room. So following the classic bar modeling technique, we're going to label them J and L, and we're going to begin by drawing both of their tape diagrams identically. And you can see it doesn't have to be perfect. My drawings are definitely not perfect. And then once we've labeled J and L and we've drawn two bars the same length, now we're going to go back and read the question so that we can edit it uh, as, ne as necessary. So it says, Joanna and Lisa drew lines. We got that covered. Joanna's line is 41 centimeters long. So that means we can label her tape diagram as 41. Then it says, Lisa's line is 19 centimeters longer than Joanna's. So that means Lisa's tape diagram needs to be longer than Joanna's, and it doesn't matter exactly how long we make it, just it's got to be longer. And we know that that little piece right there is 19. And then the question says, well, how long is their combined length? So we want to know the combined length of these two. Well, we need to know this length right here. Well, it's 41 because we began the whole process drawing two bars that were identical in length. So Lisa's length is 41 plus 19. So let's do that. 41 plus 19. 9 plus 1 is 10. Carry the 1. And then 1 plus 4 plus 1 is 6. So that's 60. So Lisa's combined length is 60, and now we want to find the total of their two lines, so that means we need to do 60, because that's Lisa's line, plus 41, that's Joanna's line, and we add them together, and we get 100 and 
101 centimeters. 100 plus 1 <laughs> centimeters. 101 centimeters. It's not necessary if your bar diagram doesn't match mine precisely. The idea is basically using these tape diagrams to model the problem. If kids want to do things a little bit different, that's okay, but I'm showing you the classic Singapore approach to modeling these problems. This technique is super duper useful as kids get older. And that is Grade 2, Module 2, Lesson 10, where we are using tape diagrams to model problems and solve them.